Okay guys, today's topic is really exciting. That is one topic that I cannot talk about more and more and more often. Just kidding, we're talking about contracts. My name is Damien Cooper, welcome to Monkey Pixels. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. Okay, I've stated that a lot in my five quick tips to improve your creative business as well as in other videos because you can't really talk about that too often and that is make a contract. So whenever you start working for someone, have everything written down so there's no misunderstandings afterwards. I can't stress that enough because in the beginning I didn't, I was like, nah, I have everything, you know, on Facebook and we just did everything verbally. So what, what do we need a contract for? But then in the end, they come with changes that weren't really agreed upon or maybe they want to change the rate or you know they have extras and something and then it's always you know this awkward spot where you're like nah we didn't really agree upon that so have everything written down in a contract and in this topic we talk about what should be in one of those contracts So what we do when we start working with someone we have a production contract and that includes everything that involves the entire job that we are being offered and then the job that we have to produce. Obvious things first, put down who you're working for, who are you, so that there's no misunderstanding. So we Monkey Pixels work for company X, Y. So that is the easy part. So now when it comes to what are you actually doing, describe your service. So if you're shooting product photography, then say you're shooting product photography. If you want to do a wedding, then actually put in that you're shooting a wedding. So that is basically just a description of your services, what you do in general. So if you do photography as well as videography, put both of that in. If you only do videography, so only put videography in. So the next part is the time frame. So time frame is when do you actually do that? So if there's a wedding on the 18th of January, then put that in. But if you have like a freelance project that you, you know, can um, do whenever, then just say in the month of November of 2018. So that there's no misunderstandings when you're actually shooting, when you're delivering. And that also goes to our next point, and that is deliverables. Make sure the client and you are on the same page when it comes to what you deliver. Because sometimes you say, all right, you get two two minute videos in MP4 format, but the client wants three eight minute videos. So make sure you're on the same side when it comes to what you actually deliver. Maybe you're shooting a wedding and they think, hey, uh, you're doing not only the photography, but they're also getting a website. They're also getting um, a nice little book with all their pictures in it afterwards. Just write down whatever they're getting and nobody has any misunderstandings afterwards. Also, and that is really obvious, but really important is what are you getting paid? So if you negotiated an hourly rate, then put in an estimate maybe, uh, but also put in that it's only an estimate and that is not the final number, um, that, but put in your hourly. Like we're working on this project with an hourly rate of X, Y, or, or if that is a fixed price, you say you're shooting a wedding for $2,000, then say, hey, we're shooting a wedding, $2,000. Also put in when the client has to actually pay you. So for example, we do a 50% payment upfront, and then after everything is done, one week after the submission of our invoice, we need to be paid. Because otherwise you're just saying, hey, I wanna get $2,000, but you never stated when you will actually get that. And there's a lot of clients out there that don't like to pay up right away, so put that in a contract as well. So the next part is also really important and that is the rights. So what is the client actually be able to do with it? Because there's a lot of clients who say like, hey, I wanna all have all the raw files, maybe photography as well as videography. And you say, no, you just get a finished video like we said in the deliverables. For example, we don't give out our raw footage and we also put in our contract that the client isn't allowed to edit our uh, footage or our pictures further. 
So because we don't really want, want to end up with like a budget version and then they use a different sound and maybe just, just throw in some other really shitty looking footage and then it kind of looks like our footage but it isn't. So in our contract it says that the client is prohibited to actually edit anything further than uh, what we actually provided. Or, or what are they actually able to do with the video you gave them? Is it just for social media? Can they do whatever they want with it? Can they run a TV commercial with it? Or, you know, just run it in the local cinema? You need to define the rights. What is it they're allowed to do and what it is there isn't that they aren't supposed to do? You get me. And there you have it. This is the really basic and important stuff and these are the big stuffs. In our contract there's a lot of stuff afterwards with uh, when it comes to liability. So what happens if uh, we have a fixed date? For example you shoot a wedding and then you're being sick on the day or you're being run over by a car or... your dog eats your camera, whatever. So all this kind of stuff, put it in your contract so everybody's on the right, uh, same side. So when something unexpected happened, it's not even that unexpected what happens afterwards. Also put in all the boring stuff. What about your warranty? Uh, do you give a warranty about whatever your product you're selling or um, confidentiality? For example, you have to uh, agree that you're not allowed to you know, put up the secrets. What are you allowed to do with the footage? Not only the client, they're allowed to do yada, 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 but what are you allowed to do? Can you use it for your own portfolio? Can you sell it to someone else afterwards? Because we had this discussion, for example, that one client wanted to sell the footage to other companies and we were like, no, you only um, gained the rights to use it for your own company, not for someone else. And all that kind of stuff, just put it in the back of your contract, which is basically your general terms of use uh, in terms and condition of your company and just have them attach to your contract. Needless to say, both parties need to uh, sign the th whole thing because otherwise it's a worthless piece of paper. And there you have it. That is basically what we put in our contracts. I also um, attached a blank version of our template contract that you can use, maybe modify it for your business, modify it, maybe add something, maybe leave something out that you don't need. And then you can actually use it for your production. And I hope that actually saves you a lot of headache. If you like that kind of video, because we're doing a lot of videos about the business side, not only about the technical side, uh, when it comes to your creative business, photography as well as videography, then subscribe to our YouTube channel, maybe share it with your friends, leave a nice comment, and then we'll see you on the next video.